Hello. Hello. Where are you guys from? Ah, uh, fifth. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Hi there. You gonna take my picture? Sure. Do you have a photo ID? <laughs> yes, you do. Okay, she's my wife. Yeah, photo there you ID. Go. Yeah, I got a photo ID. Yeah. Yeah. Somewhere. Here you go. Oh, there it is. So you're, you're vouching for her. I'm vouching for her. Very <laughs> wise. I might have just identified her. Uh, what's your name? Anthony Charles Olson. I'm in the uh, uh, first precinct. Okay, Anthony Charles, what's the last name? Olson, O-L-S-E-N. Oh, okay. <laughs> Anthony C. Olson on Facebook. Hey, Mom. All right. <laughs> All right. important thing for me is for y'all to sign all the local paperwork to be signed from each precinct or each precinct uh, by each precinct chairperson again, so you can get permanent ones. And uh, I think we'll let you get started with Electing your permanent chairs, the first thing they're going to do, and I see one laying out here already, is pass out this, what you call it a buck bag, now it's called a five buck bag, <laughs> or five, give a five or something, and hopefully there's the chairman that are elected permanent will set an example and get some money in that. So I'm going to stop right now and let you start electing your permanent chair so they can sign paperwork. Do you want to Oh, that's right. We're going to do that. We should do that. We're just, we, we, before we do the permit and the chair work, at, while, while you're packing, passing the buck bag, who wants to speak for um, on behalf of some of our candidates? Okay, we have just two. Anybody else want to speak? Okay, well, I'm going to let Chuck Pizer come up, and I think he's going to speak on behalf of Governor Brand's dad. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Well, thank you. I'm I'm Chuck Peicher from here in Keokuk. I'm the co-chair of, of the Branstead campaign in uh, Lee County, and I just wanted to uh, uh, say that uh, Governor Branstead and, and Lieutenant Governor Reynolds are are looking forward very much to the campaign. Uh, this year, they they announced on Tuesday. Uh, they were here on, on Thursday in, in Fort Madison. They're looking very much forward to coming down to Keokuk and, and campaigning in, in Lee County and uh, looking for a great uh, re-election campaign this year. This is Dorothy Cackling. She's going to speak on behalf of Mark Lofgren. Lofgren. Good evening. Um, I did some work for Mark this summer and I'm working again for him. Um, he is currently ser serving in the Iowa House of Representatives, his second term, and he is running for the second district representative position to hopefully unseat Mr. David Lobsack. Yeah. Okay, um, pardon me, to make your founding fathers proud. Best regards, Mark Lofgren, candidate for Congress. Okay, I'm going to let you get to business here, but before I forget this, we've already set the date for this coming year's banquet at which Mark uh, was there and presented a talk, and we had several candidates that were just starting their campaigns. It is July 26th, it will be at the Comfort Inn in Fort Madison. And we're pretty sure that Governor Branstad will be at it. He's kind of made a tentative commitment now. He says his calendar's free right now, but that does change his priorities change during the campaign. So if you really will mark that day, it should be a banner. <laughs> we had a really great uh, banquet last year, and uh, we're looking for equally or more so this year. So I'm going to let you all get around in your precincts now and 
your temporary chairs will now ask you to elect them hopefully as permanent chairs and you can get on with the business and I'll just be here if you have any questions. So. <laughs> okay, well, uh, I think you, I think all four of us have been through caucuses before and uh, know how this, how this works. Uh, I'm the temporary chairman, and the temporary secretary, and uh, so we're uh, open for nominations for a permanent chairman and secretary. I know I'm not running. Okay. Okay, would you be willing to be the permanent yes. chair? Well, then by acclamation, I'll be the, the, sec the uh, chairman and Ann will be the secretary. Can I write your name Chuck by chair or do I have to write Charles? Charles would be the uh, All those in favor of, of those two nominations say aye. Aye. Thank you. Um, I think the next thing is the uh, election of county, secral, county C central committee people. We'd like to have two people who, who would be on the on the county central committee. Are either of you interested in being on that? Are you interested in being on that? Thank you. Okay. Are well, you? At this point, I'm not interested in being on that. I have other responsibilities. Okay. None of us are, well, we're not in this, in this precinct anyway, but. Uh, <laughs> there's, there's said that. No one willing, then we'll move on from that. Uh, next is the election of to the county convention by, of delegates, and that is March Saturday, March. Uh, March right on the front page. March eighth. Right. Yeah. March eighth. Are, are either of you interested? No. Nope. Okay. Um, Ann and I are planning to attend, but we'll be elected in the in the third ward so that's taken care of uh, you know of anybody else from the fifth ward that might be interested okay Here we are. Uh, so no point in doing delegates do you do you know of any junior delegates that might be interested no I sure don't okay we have our grandson is 14 and, and would be interested, I think. So we're going to put his name down. If that's all right. Yeah. Going to put his name down. Down here. As a junior delegate. You have somebody want to be a junior delegate? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Right. Actually, you can write them on it and write them in because there won't be. Where? Where? You could write it right on the form. There's not because we've got plenty of room. And you should. I was just asking if they yeah, okay. put them in the ward in which they reside. Okay. Well, as soon as we take care of that, we'll we'll move on to the platform resolutions. Um, Anne's got cards. If, if you want to write out any resolutions. I think Donna's got some. I don't. Okay. Okay. Great. And each, as, as you might remember, each resolution has to have a second, and then we'll we'll vote on it. Although I think what what they were talking about is that any resolution that has a second would go to the to the uh, platform committee and, and then be considered. So, uh, Donna, you want to read your your resolution? Wear as Planned Parenthood are mass murderers. Be it resolved that we defund that filthy organization. I second it. Hi. Okay. So if it has a second, then then it'll go forward to the to the council. Are you supposed convention. to discuss it at all? Yeah, we can, yeah, we can discuss it. I just think uh, if you want that to be accepted, if it would be a lot more palatable if you took out the word filthy. What? But that's your choice. I said if you deleted the word adjectives, such as filthy, it would be a little less abrasive. But if you want it that way, you can leave it. I second it. Yep. You already did. 
Why don't you read the second one? Whereas our forefathers have enacted laws forbidding the immoral practices of fornication, adultery, and sodomy, and the nullification of these laws has unleashed a plague of sexual immor immorality on our nation, resulting in same-sex unions, same-sex marriage, and sexual predators adopting children. Let it be let it hereby be, be resolved that the Republican Party will work to once again outlaw these immoral practices. Okay. Discussion? Should we have a second? Yeah, I'll second. second. Any discussion? Okay. And then we'll go forward. Okay. <coughs> Whereas 14 vaccines use human cells derived from aborted fetal tissue as the vaccine package inserts list side effects such as convulsions, brain damage, and sudden infant death syndrome since these vaccines are required in order for children to enter school. And some people who object to abortion for religious moral reasons have a right to refuse to inject abortion-related ingredients into their children. And so many of the vaccines, I mean, there are many, many vaccines that are required and they cause autism, the result of so many being required. And there's one in 88 children who, who have autism. We have resolved that I will must have vaccination exemption because of religious and moral beliefs. Okay. So we got a second? Yep, we got a second. Um, unless okay. we got more discussion. Discussion? If not, I'll go forward. <coughs> Whereas it is a scientific fact that life begins at fertilization. Forensic scientists tell us that when the sperm and egg unite, there is a new DNA, a new human being, a new person with a new genetic code. And whereas in 2004, passage of 18 U.S.C. 1841-D federal law recognized the humanity of all unborn babies at all stages of development and said what Roe v. Wade said must be said for legal aborticide to end. Be it resolved that Roe v. Wade and legal aborticide must collapse. Okay. Second. I second it. Mm -hmm. Discussion. Um, 85,372 babies were mur murdered by aborticide in Iowa in the last 14 years. How many? What was that number? 85,372 in the last 14 years. Mm -hmm. And they weren't medically necessary. Okay. That one will go on. Mm -hmm. Do you have a couple? They're well said. I do have a couple. Place and services in Keokuk as well as in Fort Madison. The what? Bring back the driver's license services to Keokuk. Where do we got to go now? Fort Madison? Yeah. Yeah, that's not such a big deal, but uh, you're going to have two of them then or what? I used to. That uh, seemed like too many, you know, myself. Do I have a second? Oh, second. It probably won't happen anyway. There you go. All right, I'll go forward. Okay, I got another one. Okay. Resolution in support of support. Resolution in support of endorsing trails in Iowa. Trails. Whereas the Republican Party considers bicycle and pedestrian transportation to be of utmost importance to the region by providing a region with recreation and transportation opportunities as well as the possibilities of economic and community development. Whereas officials of the Republican Party feel that it's the best interest of the citizens of Iowa to endorse said project, 
Now, let it be resolved that city, county, regional, and state of Iowa governments hereby endorse trail projects and will provide technical and financial assistance when available and needed for the durations of such projects. This would be uh, taxpayer funded? Partially. But where would the other funds come from? There's grant money available. <laughs> That's taxpayer money too, isn't it? Well, it's got to be spent on something. Well, I don't see that as a legitimate governmental interest, personally. And uh, this is the kind of thing, you know, I'd like to see government get out of it. The government's too much, you know, and too much uh, uh, unconstitutional, illegitimate uh, business anyway, like historical landmarks and a bunch of other little pet projects we call pork pod projects. And this is the kind of thing that I'd like to see government out of, and it'd be fine for for uh, private funding and for um, uh, government oversight, you know, as far as, uh, you know, keeping it safe and that type of thing, but I think that uh, trails and recreation and that type of thing should not be a government, uh, it should not be taxpayer funded. That's Personally. A, that's a good Sorry, point. I didn't mean to interrupt. No, that's right. That's a fair point. You know, a lot of those are funded privately as well, but right. like you say, to put a trail along a road or, or near a public right-of-way, you have to have the government involved, and so that's, that's a portion of it. But, right, but yeah, right, there there's there's a big government oversight for sure, but I'm, I'm, my concern is taxpayer funding. Yeah, well, that's a fair point. I'll, I'll second that, so it'll, it'll go forward, but, uh -huh. but uh, I agree, you know, it's got a, you know, comes out of somebody's quality, right. quality of life issue and promoting healthy healthy lives and and uh, you tell know, you what's a quality of life issue that's abortion and sodomy I, I understand yeah. yeah okay well that concludes our business for tonight unless there's any other oh. that's it any other the Julia Lex yeah, that's you. the end of it right there huh? that's the end of it right there resolutions these these will go on to the platform committee and, and be presented yeah. they don't get lost along the way I, 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 it lost. seems like they do because uh, we've had that happen They'll, uh, they'll get, um, well, you know, if there's, if every precinct has, has a similar resolution, they'll be combined. There won't be 20 resolutions. Okay, the initial assign the resolutions to say that. Sure. All right, okay. well, good. Uh, that's it. We'll see you at the...